Welcome to Jurassic Park. All right, we're back. Let's get it. Man, I gotta say though, I gotta say that I think I feel like our stream is coming together, dude. It's it's looking so professional. Like we got the the new nice transition there. We got the the just chatting screen. Uh, let me go to it real quick, just to, just to show it off a little bit, just to show it off a little bit. Like, it's, I think all this is, like, coming together so well. It looks, it look, it's starting to look very professional. Look, we got the recent, I like, I like this the best, I think, out of all the new stuff. This is, the latest events thing is so cool. Let's go, dude, let's go, dude. Latest follower. Shows, like, all the, all the recent stuff. Man, but yeah. So we got we dude. Our stream is starting to look so good, so professional, dude. So professional. The merch looks good now too. Like man, man, we're coming along. We're coming along here. All right, let's switch it back here. Uh, give me one second. Uh, I need to make sure I put back on a mod here. Uh, what was it called? Oh, here it is. Okay. Ooh. Man, I don't know. I feel like I feel like our stream is is getting is getting better. It keeps it just keeps getting better. There's like always new stuff that we come up with. Like, man, so good, so good. We always it's like we always got new shit coming out, which is which is cool.
Uh, let me make sure we got all the mods on. Okay, cool. We're on turn 93. Damn. We're on turn 93 here. We're And we're just starting to get to the point where we're going to be getting some of, some of the good units, finally. We're just now getting to the point where we can get good units. But yeah, in uh, in Duelist, I need to uh, honestly, I need to to practice some of these some of these decks more because a lot of a lot of the decks I have are not finished. So I, I really need to like just play more so I can like really make make these decks more complete. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just wasn't wasn't really uh, feeling du Duelist too much today. Normally we play it for like a, at least a couple hours, but I think today we only played for like yeah, we only played it for like an hour today. Arise, my warriors. All right, so here's where we are at. We're about to come down onto the lizards and fight them. About to. Just I mean, the only reason we're gonna do this is because we want Lamia, this desert region over here, which has a lot of good buildings that we need. So we're gonna we're gonna take it. We're gonna do what we need to do. Yes, my king. So this guy's healing up for right now. Find my hand. Same with our lord, our king, still healing up. Mehikara rises from the sand. This guy will march up here. He's so this guy is coming to support King Hetakor up here. Address me as your highness. Okay, cool. Kill these wretches. What's what is this? Ooh, okay. Little settlement battle here. Little settlement battle. Hmm. Honestly, you know what? I'm fine with that. We'll take the auto. We'll fine with that. For the creator God. We'll the sack it. That's a mine. that's a decent amount of gold there. We'll sack that. We'll take the sack. We got pirates up here. Now we'll occupy. So the we only lost spearmen, so we'll get those right back. We'll get those right back. Dude, I want to play these this pirate faction here. This pirate faction looks cool. Land folk are weak. So this is a, a faction that's added in from some mods. It looks pretty dope. Who's he going after next? Oh, so he still he still has to wait. Where are they? Where's where's the bloody hands last um settlement? Hmm. Hmm. Where could they be at? All right, so let's see. We have one more. Oh yeah, here he is. My dynasty reigns supreme. Here he is. I was gonna say we should have one more. Actually, yeah, yeah. We'll move him up here. We'll move him up here. All right, so we got some skills. We need to put in. Woundmaker. Uh, Canopic Jar. Everyone needs to be making at least one jar. My will be done. And then King Hetakor. King Hetakor. Should I be going for the uh, red line? Because we could get... Just for, like, all of our basic skeletons... Skeleton Warriors, Spearmen, Tomb Guard, Nehekara Warriors. They can all get armor, melee defense. Also, armor piercing for some of the Scarab units. Charge bonus for the flying units, basically. Hmm. 
So at most, at, at level 3, for Sun Scorched Bones, it'll get them plus 8 armor and plus 6 melee defense for the basic, or not basic, all, all of our infantry skeletons. Which isn't bad. Not terrible. But, eh. We'll just keep buffing up the Lord. The Lord. Let's see, research. We just unlocked another hero. And we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Oh, maybe I should actually, maybe I should um get a unique Lord. Acquirable skills. So this guy gives bonuses to the horses. Uh, ooh, special ammo for bone giant units. Uh, income from all buildings faction wide. Whoa. Immortal conqueror. And then what is this? So armor for horse units, for infantry, and missile strength. So he's kind of he's kind of all over the place. He gives bonuses for all kinds of stuff. Let's see what about this guy. Uh, replenishment in foreign territory, income from raising settlements. And he can get twisted hunger for Nehekara warriors. Revenant of desert. So he gives bonuses to the Nehekara warriors and chariots, mostly. Charge bonus, stock, range for his army. Hmm. Then what about this guy from the third dynasty? Looks like he gives bonuses to some constructs. Unit capacity for Kemrian War Sphinx. Ooh, self-repair. That sounds like a healing thing for some of the uh, construct units. Two of them. Uh, hit points, armor, tradable resources. Hmm. Okay. Then he gives, this is just local province stuff. Hmm. You know what, we'll, we don't need them immediately, so let's wait. We're gonna, instead, we're going to use our jars to unlock more uh, heroes. We need, the more heroes we have, the better. Speaking of, I think we can get another priest. Yeah, another priest here. Let's see, what... Uh, what abilities do we have here? Oh, here we go. Canopic jars generated per turn? Only death That's what we need. Hello, fifth. Hello, birthday boy. How was, how was your birthday? Are you doing anything this weekend for your birthday? Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, then we have gold. We have gold. To spend. Ooh, so this is built up to level four now. Level four now. Ooh. We could get another Necrolith Colossus place built up. 6,000 gold. Or would we rather build up somewhere else? Oh, there's actually not really anywhere else to build. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. Pyramid of King Katep. Only 10 turns. Not that you know of, uh, it was cool how we live and we live in good. We live in good. So we're gonna we're gonna play um New Vegas tomorrow. So I'm 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 super excited to get y'all's songs and messages on the radio. I can't wait to see how how it turns out. I'm gonna try to like put some like 
effects on it to make it s- make the messages sound like kind of like you know fallout radio type of stuff like old timey almost you know so i'm gonna be working on that tonight and tomorrow and uh should have it ready should have it ready in time for st- for stream um yeah I'm, I'm excited to see how it how it turns out hopefully it turns out good either way actually even if it sounds like shit it'll be funny but yeah either way i'm excited either way Summon them. can i together we may be as mighty as Henry. man i don't know terms. i can't believe i can't get this guy to join me on this war front here. Only death awaits. I don't know if I should build up some of these buildings here because I don't know if we're going to be able to hold them. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we were playing some duelists for a little bit, but I wasn't really feeling feeling like playing it too much, so we were we switched over to Warhammer. And then tomorrow we're gonna play uh more uh we're gonna RP some more in Bannerlord, and then we're gonna play some Vegas. So Yeah. We got we got I don't know. So far, I've been having a blast with the the games we we've, we've been playing, so I'm 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 just so excited for everything that we we play right now. Okay, we got a new hero, another tomb prince. What do we want to get next? Oh, sorry, not rights. Research. We could get another necrotect. Yeah, let's do that. Another hero. Alright, so who's next on the Tomb Prince? Trustworthy. Let's get uh, trustworthy. We need our diplomatic relation to be up a little bit. My father demands it. Need that to be up a bit. Attend your king. How does this guy not have at least three uh, armies yet? What the hell? Hmm. Uh, so this is that one rat faction that we're inadvertently helping. Yeah, yeah, let's move up. Let's move up here. We're going to go into Scorpion Stance to heal up. I move, sire. Okay, so our king is ready to move. Do we? I think we want to go after Valea's Sorrow. Priest king of greatest dynasty. We can't reach it on this turn, so we'll uh, we'll just come up here. Stand, Sentinel. Onward, soldiers. I think we heal the same amount whether we're in, since we're we're in our own territory. Yeah, let's let's ambush. Oh, I didn't see this here. Get out, me eight. Oh, he's got a wall going. Okay, he's got a wall going, so we do need to be a little careful. A little careful. A little careful. Just a wee bit. They have a little garrison here. Okay. Hmm. Should I just go into? March stance so we can reach that next turn. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, now, ladies. Yeah. This dude needs to heal. Actually, we can heal over here. We can have him heal up in. There we go. Friendly territory. This guy needs to stay here for one turn. Yeah! 
Dude, I wish I could yell. I wish I could yell. So the this this the neighbors are like literally right here. So I mean not not counting the fact that I have neighbors, you know, above me and you know to the sides. This window that's opened up, the neighbors are like literally right like there's like only like one or two feet of space right here between these two buildings. So the neighbors are like right fucking here. So like they can hear everything. So I can't I can't yell. It's man. Maybe in the future. You know, if we if I get a if I get a house, a streamer house would be cool because then we don't have to worry about neighbors and we can just be yelling at the you know what I mean? You get that feeling where you like you just like whenever something's hyped or something, you just want to yell and you can't do it. Can't do it. Blast porn and make horse sounds? They won't mind. You right. You right. You right, dude. Alright, who oh we we haven't moved this guy yet, okay. Move up. Move up. Alright, so we got 3,000 gold. We got 3k up in this bitch. Is there anything that we want to build up? Ooh, over here? Let's see. Uh, we could build uh, this up for another bone giant. Mm, but we need we need to save our gold if we want to if we want to build that up. If you want to be a my mother, gonna be my uh, how are we doing over here? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build that up. And we're gonna build this up. And... We'll get this going for some more cat units, more Besethi. What, uh, I think that's it. I think that's all we can do on this turn. I think that's all we can do. Oh yeah, we need to move this guy back. Need to move him back, need, need to move him back. Need to move him back. Need to move him back. Man, there's, man, there's so much stuff going on. Ah, oh, there's so much to do. So much to fucking do. So little time. So much to do. Uh, I might actually... So usually Fridays and Saturdays we go longer because it's the weekend. But I might end stream a little early tonight just so I can like work on some of the shit I need to work on. Ooh, get ambushed on, you fool. Take the gold. Can't believe he, he fell for a 40% ambush. Son of the bitch! Yo, cheers. What up, friendly? Thank you for the uh, bits, dude. What's up? What up, young man? The young Australian. From Melbourne. Melbourne. Uh, armor and weapon strength for infantry. Yeah, we have way more infantry than we barely have any cavalry. Actually, we I don't we may not have any cavalry at all. So of course we'll get the bonuses to the infantry. There we go. Ooh, wayward snotling. Wayward snotling. Oh, Let's go. He got his unique emerald necro serpent mount. Sick. I can't wait to see how that looks. Can't wait to see how that looks. Young lad. Just a young boy. Just a young boy is what they... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a wog stack right there. Yo, Albays. What up, Albays? What's going on, mate? Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Let's do um shout out for all base. Let's go all base. Appreciate appreciate the raid, dude. What up? Welcome in all base crew. All base, what's what's um what's your what's your group called? Like what's is you is y'all is your or maybe maybe you're still working on it, but like do you have a uh a title for your your viewers? Like do you call them like you know, all base clan group team do you have a name uh also let's do uh let's switch to we got a couple of streamers in chat so let's do uh, a little self self promo here all bays watchers that sounds cool that sounds like a tomb kings thing it sounds like a tomb kings thing let's get some uh get some clips in here and then uh fifth fifth as well yeah Uh, if you're a streamer, feel free to uh, shout yourself out. Um, like post, you can post a link to your YouTube or Twitch, whatever. Ooh. Um, oh, oh, rabbit! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Tricked him. Got him. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Got him, dude. Got me good as fuck. My whole. Panic. Little scared boy. <laughs> Little scared boy. That's okay though. Dude, okay. I was, dude. I was in the zone. I was clicking. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, she got me good. But yeah, yeah if you're a streamer, good. feel free to post a link to your Twitch, YouTube, whatever. Uh, you dude, also know, like, feel free to let us know like, oh like what what your stream is about or you know whatever, and we'll we'll give you a shout out. Last call, last call for shout outs. If you're a streamer or if you have something you want to promote, now's the time. Now's the time. We'll give uh, we'll give people a minute. Give people a minute here. But uh, all base. Uh, thank you again for the raid. How was your stream? What kind of uh, what kind of campaign are you doing? Are, are, are you doing the early access stuff? I know a couple of people have uh, access to the uh, the early access. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fifth, fifth is a. Uh, if you like it here, you'll like it over at Fifth's channel as well. Uh, he plays all kinds of stuff. He's played Warhammer a few times, Mountain Blade, all that, all that fun stuff. All right, all right. No early access. Just uh, playing some co-op uh, first time. Oh. Your first time playing Mazda Mundi? Or a first time playing as in co-op? As Mazda Mundi. Not good at Warhammer though, just bum rush with everything? That's okay. There's different play styles, you know? There's uh, different factions, different lords. You know, some for everyone. Some for everyone. All right, I think, I don't think we have any more shout outs to do, so let's go back to the game here. Uh, first time playing, uh, Maz, only tried Gorok. Oh, okay, so first time in general. Okay, cool. You know, I've never played him either, just because he's never, at least to me, he's never looked interesting. He's just like this, I don't know. The other lizard lords just look way cooler than him. So I, that's, I, I actually, like, now that I think of it, I haven't played him either. But that, what do you think about him so far? What do you think about the, uh, the all powerful, all powerful fat toed sorcerer. Uh oh yeah, shit. We got this fucking dude over here. Let's try to um see if he'll go for the baits over here. Move back. Lich priest. We're gonna go ahead and take Vallea's sorrow. In the chariots. We're gonna go ahead and take this shit. Oh yeah, let's see this guy's new serpent mount. Should be pretty cool. Let's check out his mount. Uh, at first, big dumb toad, but as soon as he gets his Stegodon mount, he's indestructible. Damn. Yeah, he's a, uh, he's a, he's a tough big boy. 
Bazdumuni is one of the most powerful casters in Warhammer. That fat toad, yeah. That fat toad. <laughs> yeah, you know, everyone has like certain lords or factions in general that they don't think looks interesting, so they don't play. Like for me, Mazdamundi is one of them. I mean, he's I know he's he's strong and everything, but I don't know, he just does not Oh, I didn't even have the music on this whole time. Whoops. Okay. Uh, where is this? Let's see. So this is an emerald serpent he's got. That looks pretty cool. It's like got a green, green color scheme to it. Okay. Okay. That's decent. That's pretty decent. So what's his uh, 54 speed? Okay. So he's. Obviously not the fastest. Not the fastest here. Okay. So what shall we do? Well, they gotta come to us. Since we have, uh, we got the superior range here. Put the chariots this way. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's move our lads up here. Bring my chariot. Let's move our lord here, wheel. over here as well. Agree. That's pretty cool. That's pretty sick. Uh, yo, what's up, Barn? What you up to today, Barn? What's going on in Barn's world? FBI time? Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. some more let's fast forward fast forward here okay so what we're gonna do oh he's got arrow boys over there ooh actually so our Lord will uh, buff up their, their range capability, so let's actually have them get next to the Lord here. Uh, just chilling, thinking about uh, playing Tarkov Arena. Thinking about punishing yourself, eh? Okay, okay. I don't know what you did, but if you feel like that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. Yeah, so their range is increased to 154, which is not terrible. Not terrible. Alright, move back, move back, move back. They're coming! They're coming! Alright, they're in range of our, uh... Fucking catapult. In range of the catapult now. Okay, let's move our lord back here so we can buff up these range units. There you go. Our Nehekara archers will make short work of these pig boys. But yeah, it's okay. It's okay, you know? It's okay, dude. It's okay, brother. What's up, brother? But yeah. 
me and Junkie were talking about this uh, earlier. Uh, fucking Sketch has probably have like had the the fastest and most explosive growth out of like any like content creator dude of all time. It's crazy. Hey, chariots, get in there. Get in there, chariots. The artist. Forward. Let's have our lord get in here as well in a second. Focus those archers, please. Get rid of them. Ooh, spitting some venom on them. Kind of froze there for a second. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, obviously an easy fight there. Easy fight. Easy fight. Easy life. You know what they say. Let's put on guard mode. So they don't start. Okay, let's get the scorpion back here. Come on, come on. Will be done. Come on, come on. We're gonna let our lord and hero get. Uh, oh, I didn't even use that. We're gonna let him get a few more kills here. A few more kills. So we're currently our lord only has 17. So let's go. We'll have him go into melee here. Get a few more kills. His melee's not too bad, so. There you go, there you go. Actually, uh, move up here. Ah, oh, shit, they're, gonna, they're about to get out of here. Get him! Get him! Gonna give him a few more kills, a little bit more XP. Ah, that's fine. That's good. Good enough. Good enough. Yeah, the catapult. Did absolute work. Same with the all the, all the range units put in pretty good work. Pretty pretty good work. <sighs> okay. Okay. So this I just wanted to see the new mount that our Necrotect hero had. But, um, now, oh, maybe we might, our Lord might be leveled up here. Let's see. A little bit of gold, not too much there. Let's see about, what about, ooh, decent sack. Decent sack. We'll go ahead and take it. Occupy. Yes. Yes, our lord got his golden war sphinx. So our our lord that we're playing as, he's the lord of Numis. And uh, so instead of a, a regular war sphinx, he gets a golden war sphinx. So we'll see what that, how that looks next time we, we play him. My will be done. Uh, these guys probably need to heal one more turn. Attend your king. We'll have this guy come over here. Let's ambush. Strike on my command. We're expanding our empire. Tomb King of Mehekara. Submit to your king. Okay, I think we've moved all of our... Yeah, we moved everyone that needs to be moved. All of our lords and heroes. Did we get another... I think we got a new Necrotect? Available? Yeah. 
Sphinx Carver, unit capacity for War Sphinx, fleet footed, aggressive. Let's get Mr. Speed here. Mr. Speed. So yeah, he has a. Uh, so currently he's on our heroes on an Emerald Necro Serpent, and then he gets a regular War Sphinx. So I think. I think we're gonna. Even when we unlock this at level 30, I think we're going to just keep him on the the Emerald Necro Serpent. Because that sounds... It's just something unique. It's a unique mount. Tougher than normal Necro Serpents. This Ramotep's creation is a monstrous mount that shatters bones with every swipe of its tail. And sink scimitar-sized fangs deep into soft flesh. And this is just a regular Sphinx, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, let's see. We have one skill point. What do we... Where do we want to put it into? Mm, what's over here? Unit capacity for Hyro Titans, Necro Sphinx, and the War Sphinx. Hmm. Hmm. The thing is, we don't really have these units yet, so... Hmm. I think we'll put it into something else instead. Hmm. Passive ability. Hmm. Once, so right now we don't have a whole bunch of constructs, but once we do, all these bonuses will definitely be good. It's just we don't have a lot of constructs yet. Hero recruit rank, but minus leadership. Weapon strength for all constructs. Hero's army, charge bonus for constructs. Replenishment, melee attack. Hmm. Or we could go down here. We still need to get his personal stats up. Yeah, let's do let's do uh, weapon strength. Get his weapon strength up to four hundred at least. Find my harem. Golden War Sphinx. Look, I want it golden. Golden. Got it. Good. Now get to work, my loyal subjects. Cool. 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 And what does this do? Control growth. Replenishment. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, we'll get that. We'll unlock that. All right, and then... Damn. It's bright. So even though these are just, like, for fun glasses, so these are... You can kind of see it there. These are men in black glasses that I got from one of the movies, like, years ago. So even though they're just like these shitty glasses, they actually kind of work pretty well. Like whenever I take them off, like everything just seems more bright. They actually have like a decent amount of tint or whatever. Whatever it's called. Right, let's see, what's next on the research list? We could unlock another hero. Ooh, let's see, what about this? Income from post-battle, growth, jars from battle. Campaign movement range, in income from trade. Plus con control, income from settlement buildings. Hmm. That's 5,000 gold, though. So we can... Instead, we just spent 1,000. Let's see. Is there anything else we want to build up? Oh yeah, we were gonna do uh Where is it? Oh here it is. Five thousand one hundred. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. 
Well, we can wait till next turn to build it up. I suppose. And in the meantime... We'll get uh, the growth building upgraded here. Ooh, he's on his uh, his his spider mount. This guy's gonna be a, a little bit of a pain in the ass to to fight. He's gonna be he's gonna be pretty strong. We're gonna probably need multiple armies to bring him down. Submit to your king. Okay, just making sure we're maxed out. Uh, 9.30, I, I gotta eat, I gotta eat here in this, in a little bit, in a second. We're almost at turn 100. We got another Necrotech. Let's see, what do we have now? Aggressive, Wrathful. We'll get aggressive. B, aggressive. B, B, aggressive. All right, so where'd he go? Okay, so he just started creating another army over here. We're gonna try and ambush here. To the temple. Let's move our hero this way so we can see what's going on. Only death awaits. So only a 50% ambush, but this this will be fine. Um, even if we don't get the ambush and we fight him, even if we lose, we'll do enough damage to where he's. We don't have to worry about him really. Ooh, so this guy's. Ooh. Do we want to go for Carrick Eight Peaks right now? Hmm. Honestly, I wonder if we can even take it. What do they have here? Nothing easy. Alright, we'll send this guy up here to take this little settlement here. Oh, what the... Is this a settlement? Oh no, it's just a field battle. I don't think this will be fear of victory. No way, dude. No way. Maybe if it was a settlement fight, but this is a field battle. We got this. I mean, we are going to take damage since we just have a, a bunch of basic units, but there's no way it's going to be Fyrick. Maybe like, maybe close to victory, if anything. Battle of Dok Karaz. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Look. We're going to keep it nice and simple here. We'll just break him up into a uh, couple layers here. Move up, lads. Move up.
Okay, so we'll have them uh, kind of position right here. And then we're not going to move these guys yet. Is this guy... Oh, he's on a... Yeah, he's on a mount. Okay. But yeah, the archers are a little bit faster than our basic U infantry, so... We're going to wait to move the archers so they don't, like, get tangled up. We're going to have our lord on the steed, though, take care of flanking. He's going to take care of flanking maneuvers. Here he goes. He's off. Oh, he's already there. He's already in position. This is going to be a slow fight here. Hmm. So the bad thing is we don't have anything to force them to come to us. Hmm. I guess we'll come over here then. We'll just slightly move up. What's their range? I think their orc arrow boys are 140. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. So what we'll do... We'll move them, uh, let's move them right here. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna have them walk. Just gonna have them walk slowly here. So they don't get tired. Even though they're undead, they can still get tired. Want to wait for them to form ranks here? Ooh, here they go. Oh, they're just gonna they're just gonna move up. Cool. Cool. All right, hurry up. Hurry up. Get in position there. Let's actually have them spread out a little bit. Spread out a little bit, lads. Move them up here. We're going to leave these spearmen to defend the flanks. Here they go. Okay, let's have our lord do the his flanking stuff. Target those goblin archers. Let's also give them some backup over here. He's good. Our lord's gonna go for the arrow, boys. Let's move them up to help defend the front line here. His lord's coming. Damn me. Our lord's barely doing any any damage to the, the archers. Oh. Uh, okay, let's have y'all help out over there, I guess. Actually, no. Come over here. Come this way, actually. Okay, let's have you back up and charge again. We gotta watch out for their lord. We can't let our lord be caught up 
with their lord. Alright, they're putting distance between us, so that's good. We'll charge again. Oh, that one guy just got smacked. Uh oh. Okay, okay. Watch out. Their lord. Their lord is coming. Their orc boys are pretty much taken care of. They're trying to trying to target our lord, but it's not gonna work. Not gonna load. Not gonna work. Uh, let's have our archers get rid of their uh, arrow boys here. Go ahead and melt them. Go ahead and melt them. Yep, there go the uh, work boys. Let's have the swordsmen come back here. Guard mode, we don't want them to like chase them for too long. Or at all, really. Alright, and they are about to break. It's about over for them. Work boys are coming back. Yep, there they go. There they go. Yeah, there's. I was gonna say there's no way that's gonna be a fear of victory. No way. No way, dude. That decisive. I was thinking maybe at worst it was gonna be a close victory, but yeah, no way. No way. I don't know why their lord wasn't involved in the fight there it looked like he was trying to chase our lord but he never quite got him never quite reached him yeah we we made sure that their uh their range was not useful at all our range however was just giving it to them just poking them with a thousand needles Little bit of gold. Not bad. Not a bad sacking. Come up here and occupy it. Then we'll move King Hetakor up here. Damn, we're really we're laying into them hard. We are laying into them hard. We're taking a lot of their a lot of their land. Oh, yeah. Do we want to try and take eight peaks here? I mean, we don't need it. It doesn't really do anything for us, but... It'd be good to take it from them. I honestly don't know if we can take it with what we have here. We don't have enough artillery to like break down their towers or wall or walls. We don't have any flying units to get rid of their uh, their artillery or towers, and we don't have any like compared to their infantry. Our infantry is weaker. The only benefit we have is like a decent lord and hero. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, 
if we don't fight him on the walls, if we get him onto the ground, on the ground we'll have better a better time since we have our lords and hero on some good mounts. We also have the scorpion. So if we get him on the ground, we'll be good. Come on, Namors. Oh! Unlucky today, dude. Unlucky. Uh, but you got you got a little bit there. You got a little bit. Your sled broke, but you got a little bit from the that behest. Behest. Servants. Yeah, we just we just need to get them on the ground. Let's see. Land of the dead. What? Ooh, look at that golden war sphinx. That's cool. Oh, it's like just the basic dwarven hold. Hmm. Hmm. But I guess we don't have to attack immediately. We can siege. Let's see. We'll give them a bright proper siege. My sled! What should you play? Um maybe Duelist? Fractured Space? Duelist or Fractured Space? One of those? We'll give this guy some better, more melee attack. Conqueror. Oh, also. Attack and destroy. Obsidian amulet. Hmm. Hmm. Ambush defense chance. Wayward Snotling. Okay. We still need some uh, better items. Yeah. Yeah, I would say either get in, get into Duelist or Fractured Space, you know? Get into it. Learn. Learn how to play a good game. Learn how to play a good game. So do I do we start working on the next dynasty or do we is there anything else we want to get? Get. Get. Get now. Get. Oh yeah, we do want to build up this for 5000. Yeah. Let's get that going for another bone giant. Another boner boy in here. Ooh, we have this stuff we need to build up too. Hmm. Yeah, let's start working on the next dynasty. Fourth dynasty. So then we have some extra gold here. Extra gold, extra gold. Read all about it. So how's the battlefield looking here? Cetra's maintaining his grasp on these uh, new lands he's taken. Ooh, Zinch is so random. He's just changing. He's taking random places. Hmm. All right. Let's see what these green skins do. Oh, I should have built this up. Uh, oh well, it's fine. Too late now. Too late now. Let's see, what else? What else could you play? Greetings, creature. What manner of thing are you? Namers, do you have Mountain Blade? 
Non-aggression pact. Hmm. I don't know. Do I want to make a team up with the rats? Though they are paying a good amount of gold, I guess, right? And they'll pay us a little bit more, actually. Almost 3k. We'll do that. We'll take that. That's a good... If they were only paying like 500, no. But 3k? It's hard to pass up. Hard to pass up. Let's get it, bro. I do need to eat. I do need to eat here, I think. They're coming out to fight us? Let's go, dude. We have the advantage on the field, you fools. I mean, their army is still strong, but we definitely beat them here. Yo, what up, Sushi? What's good, dude? What's really good? What you got going on, Sushi? What's going on? What's going on, brother? Welcome to the Mecha Show. Welcome in, fellow Mecha Squad member. You got your uh, your badge on right now? You're repping the, the mechanized squad? Oh, let's see the new, the Golden War Sphinx here. Yo, know, it's kind of hard to see in the dark, but that looks pretty good. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so he's up here with his fellow archers. Cool, cool, cool. What's his range? Okay, so still the same range, 140. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Hmm. So, with the... With our Lord giving a bonus, our catapult has, like, around 420 range. So we're going to outrange them, but they have... They have, uh... One more artillery than we have. Hmm. Hmm. Not much weekend. What do you? What do you? You got any plans for the weekend? Or not really? Just winging it. Winging it. Uh oh, got a hair. Did I get it? Ah. Fuck. Damn, I can't tell if I got it or not. Fuck. Fuck me, dude! Let's have the chariots over here. Yeah, 418 range is uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, I guess we'll move them up a little bit, let's see. Whoa. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit here. And let's have one chariot come this way. We got him in range now. Got him in range. Let's go. Let's go. And our, our Nehekara archers. Ah, oh, shit. We need to... What if I move him? What if I move him to the back here? His range is... That he gives a bonus to is a little short. Let's see.
Can he only do it to like up to three units at a time? Oh, maybe it can only go for three units at a time. Oh, they're gonna let our chariots just slip through here. They're gonna let the chariots slip on through, dude. Let's go chariots. Get on those rock labbers. My will be done. Actually, let's have the scorpion come this way. Let's go. They left their dudes undefended. There you go. Nehekar archers get on him. Get on him. There we go, chariots are on one of the lavas. We actually gotta move the uh, catapults back here. Actually no, well, let's have you move this way. We're gonna have our lord go after some of those archers right there. Our front line is breaking a little bit. We need y'all to go help out on the front here. On the front here. Let's go, Chariots. Good job. Good job. Come back over here. Actually, yeah, yeah. Come back over here. Oh, whoops. We got to move the Lord in. Let's go. So be it. Good job. They got the they got the trolls taken care of. Let's make sure we kill those trolls. All right, chariots, get on them. Get on them over there. All right, let's get these chariots out. Stay on them, Lord. Stay on them. Scorpion needs a health boost here. All right, chariots, turn around, charge back in. Let's go, let's go. Not the best charge, but. Okay, okay. Let's see, where do we, where do we need the Ushabti at? Let's get the Ushabti over here. Move over here. There we go. We got our scorpion healed up. Man, these we're gonna lose these chariots over there. Actually, let's move. Let's move them out. Move them out. Let's move them out. Okay, good. They're they're regaining their strength. Come on, Ushabti, get in there. Get in there. Oh, we got him. We got him. All right, so we need to make sure we kill as many as we can here. 
because we're gonna have to fight them again soon. Yo, Zero, uh, who you playing or think you'll play first when the DLC drops? Also, hi, hey, Zero. Um, I've been debating, I've been debating that. I've been debating that. Um, I just don't know. A lot of tough choices. I mean, I think like 90% of the people I'm probably wanting to test out the new Nurgle factions and with the reworks and everything. Uh, but also I'm interested in the Empire too. I'm also interested in the Empire as well. Okay, first let's heal this scorpion up some more. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, y'all need to quit chasing, come back here. Uh, what about you, Zero? Even the FLC Nurgle Lord looks fun? Yeah! It, it, a lot of it looks really fun. So, I don't know. It's gonna be tempting. It's gonna be tempting. Okay, let's have y'all come back as well. Hey, there you go. Got one more hit on them before they left. Is he tired? He's diminished. He is diminished. Trying to get, uh, trying to get as much damage as we can here. I think this is actually fine. I think uh, they've done enough here. <laughs> Close victory. Normally, uh, DLC for Empire Dwarfs at all, but way these new two these two new lords are themed, it kind of piques your interest. Oh, so you're saying like normally you're not interested in the Empire of Dwarves? So we lost uh, we lost a couple infantry. We lost some infantry here, but that's okay. Our lord kicked ass, 120. 190. Dang it. Good job. Good job first. But yeah, we'll have to recruit a few infantry dudes here. Ooh, can we take that replenishment? Now we'll take the gold. Shit. His his wog is just a bunch of goblins. Okay, we'll take that. I mean, the Lord himself is gonna be strong, and his his army's a little tough. A little tough. Hmm. Okay, so he's Anti-large. Okay, not much resistances. That's good. Okay. Anti-large. We don't have that much large, so that's good for us, I guess. Oh, I don't care. Okay, you capitalized the I so it looked like an L. I thought you meant DLC. Yeah, I don't, I don't, for me, um, I like the Empire, but I don't care for the Dwarves. So I probably won't be trying the Dwarves. I mean, eventually, if, when I, if, when I do another Dwarf campaign, which won't be for a long time, probably, because I don't, 
not really too interested in them. However, oh man, some of their changes. Man. Like the shield wall formation makes them probably play a lot better like how they're supposed to be played. Man. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll, yeah, we'll play them sometime. Sometime. All right, this is this isn't a bad spot. We got like a nice little choke point here. So what we'll do? Okay, we can't really put anything here, so we'll put one archer unit there. Put the chariots over here, this way. What is this? He's on his steed. He's on his trusty steed. Okay, our lord doesn't have that many spells. So, this is fine though, this is fine, this is fine. Ooh, okay, so they're, they're gonna wait for their reinforcements, which is cool. Good for us. Good for us. I think we'll actually go ahead and um, harass them with the ranged chariots a little bit. Between Elseth and Malachi. Uh, what each of them focus on with their themes is something you can vibe with, and they're both all like gunnery and big artillery and big toys. Yeah, they brought the big toys out. So that's cool, we're just gonna wait for our, our reinforcements and they're waiting for theirs. I guess, I guess for some of those, some of the stuff, I mean, I'm definitely gonna play the Empire, but the reason why I'm not super excited for the Dwarves is just because a lot of those units have kind of been modded in already. And so I feel like we've kind of played some of those units, but, you know, we'll still give him a, a go anyways. But yeah, I'm so I'm 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 for sure gonna be playing either the Empire or uh I'm probably not gonna play Elseth, honestly. I'll probably play uh I'll probably play the Golden Boy's new position. Let's do let's actually put on skirmish mode so we don't have to focus too much on these chariots. Hmm. What do we want to do? I guess we'll get... Uh, we'll put them up here uh, just to... get the choke point a little more uh, a little more locked down and we got another catapult more archers here's what we'll do let's actually you know what okay hold up Wait, why are y'all going this way? What the hell? No. Shit, I shouldn't have grouped them up. Now they're all kinds of... Okay, move, move over here. Where is, let's put all of our lords this way. Okay, so this guy's anti-large. So we're gonna want him to fight that spider. Mainly hyped for the ogre maggot lord. 
His mechanics look sick as fuck. Yeah, they do. Honestly, so if, even though I said like, you know, it feels like some of these units, it felt like, it feels like we played them already from mods, but it's, I'm still super excited. Still super excited. All right, let's turn uh, skirmish mode off. Come, come back over here. Y'all are gonna get yourselves trapped over there. I already know. But yeah, if they if they bring any units, oh yeah, yeah actually they they probably are gonna bring some units. So let's do. Move them up. Move them up right here. Let's move some of the archers over here. This is gonna be good. We have three layers of infantry that they have to get through. Oh shit, I, I forgot to move the scorpion. Come over here. Actually, just come in here. Just come over here. So what are they bringing over here? Just infantry? They don't have any infantry to set themselves, but they do have... Ooh, we gotta watch over here, too. Gotta watch our back flanks over here. Looks like they're bringing trolls. Ooh, okay, so that's a bad... That's a bad thing. It's a bad part of, of this formation. Okay, yeah, trolls are coming. Let's have this lord take care of the trolls. Let's have him start casting some spells. We got our archers putting in a ton of work. Let's actually move them back a little bit. Give me a second. Uh, welcome to the squad, but give me give me just a minute here. Give me a minute. Let's actually move these. Okay, let's get the scorpion in there. We're gonna have these chariots come back around this way. Okay, so they're they're having second thoughts about bringing their. Blinkers around. Let's put the Ushabti. Um... Oh, they got a fucking giant dude here. Let's put the Ushabti here. Let's put the Ushabti right here. Let's get these. It's hey, what up? What now? Let's get these chariots out of here. Oh shit. Come over here, come over here. Our right flank has broken. Let's bring a couple of these guys back. Get in there, take care of their archers. Where's our hero? Okay, we need you to, you're anti-large, so we need you to get in over here. these archers back. Oh, he's tearing them up. Talking the orders death. 
Okay, we don't have any, like, spells left. Okay, archers, move back some more. Okay, so our front line is pretty much depleted, but... Okay, let's have our lord now move back. Our scorpion's almost... Oh, he's... Okay, now go after... Did he chase their giant uh, squig out of here? Go after their main lord. Okay, chariots, let's have you back out. Come on, archers. Come on. I am reborn. Get these trolls. Come on, archers. Come on. We need y'all to put in some more work. Oh, dude. He's, he's fucking up there, Lord. He's like running. He's like, get him away. Trolls. Let's buff up our hero a little bit right there. Come on, archers. I thought y'all were out of range, damn it. Okay, so they're holding. They're about to break over here. Oh, I think. Uh, no, no. Ah, shit. They got. You got trapped by those. Those trolls. Come on, come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on. Get their fucking lord. Our, our, okay, our front line has broken entirely on the on the front over there. Okay, this side is probably secure. Let's move them over here. Uh, except for the chariots. Chariots keep fighting them. We'll leave these archers over here to keep firing. Right there, that should affect multiple of them. Good, 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 good. Let's move the catapults back a little bit. Get on those goblins. Oh, our anti large. Lord was killed. Sacrifice them. Okay, move back a little bit. Move back. So even if we lose here, we've done we've done a lot of damage. That his he's gonna take a few turns to uh, recoup. Archers, move back. Let's have these guys turn around over here. Yeah, so our right flank is taken care of, but the front flank, that's the main problem here. Shit. Okay, chariots come this way. These archers are out of ammo, so let's have them uh, move back here. Yeah, the trolls, the trolls was the big problem for us. The trolls like just tore through our units like paper. Yeah, it's only a matter of time. We're about to we're about to break here. 
We're about to start crumbling. There they go. There they go! Well, we did as good as we could as... as the Tomb Kings, most of their units are basically made of paper. So we did as, as well as we could. Did as well as we could. Um, Pitbull. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the squad. Uh, you're late. So that Lord's a wuss. Stop running away. Full retreat. What do you mean I wasn't running away? I was just repositioning. Yeah, really thin paper, dude. Like, until we get, like, our top tier, like, construct units. They're... I mean, even then, even when we get our constructs, they're these guys are just paper. But yeah, they're trolls. Everything else we had handled, but they're trolls, man. Holy shit. Their trolls tore through us. Yeah, like one ply toy the paper. Your archers were running away? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kept trying to reposition the archers so they would, would be able to, like, melee. Or not melee. Range. Use their range. I didn't want them to melee. But that's okay. Didn't really expect to win that, but that's fine. That's fine. Rebellion. Oh, over here. I wonder, would the Rebellion spawn here or at my vassal's place? Well, either way, even if it does spawn here, we have a decent, decent garrison. All right, so now, now we get to make two new armies. And we got some new units, too. We got some new units here, so we can make... Oh, yeah, so they, their garrison tried to attack us over here. Failed. Let's see. Will it give us a nice auto? All right, we'll take that. We'll take that. Oh, 5,000, let's go! Well, okay, we take in Carrick eight peaks from them. Address me as your highness. Come on, there you go. There you go. Occupy. Find my harem. Okay, for sure. We're gonna build that up. I guess we'll keep that for now. Most of these small settlements, though, I'm not gonna bother building up. Open the casket of souls. Wait, this guy's alive? Wait, how did this guy live? I thought he was gonna be just gone like the rest of the army. He's alive. What the fuck? That's cool. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, hey, no worries. No worries, just don't let it happen again, dude. All right? I'll let it, I'll let you off the hook this time, but don't let it happen again. Wait. Didn't we lose? Oh no, I guess we didn't. Huh. My king. So the only hero that we had in those two armies somehow survived. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I ain't doing that. Oh no. Oh no, here comes another stack. Another wog. Looks like a, a, also a nasty stack. They have a lot of uh, units that are going to tear through our, our paper line. So instead, maybe I should just try to deal as much damage in it. Ooh, their garrison's pretty thick over here. Man. And we don't have anything relatively strong for a siege in these two armies. So I guess we'll just we'll fight the Wog. Try and weaken the wog right there. All right, so in the meantime. Ooh. Not your fault buying dinner? No excuses, dude. No excuses. Next time you'll be punished accordingly. Just kidding. Uh, but uh, give me a second, y'all. I need to go get something to eat here before it gets too late because it's, it's 1030. So I'm going to eat something, going to get something to eat. So we'll take a uh, quick little food break here. And um, I'm trying to think what I want to, I got some tacos I think I'm going to heat up. And that shouldn't take too long. 
But yeah, I'll be back. I'll be back in uh, just a, just a second. Oh, whoops. Wrong screen, wrong screen. Here we go. Be right back. Be right back. All right. Be right back. I'm alive. Now that I'm here, that it's Ash Ketchum. Come on, Pikachu. I'm gonna catch them all. Yo, what are you doing, Misty? Don't touch me there. Brock, what are you doing? Oh my god, Professor Hulk. Oh, but ah! Damn, we said eat this. Put it in his mouth, bitch. Come on, Bulbasaur. Ah, oh, 
that's sick, dude. That's sick. Let's go. Dude, miscreants. Let's see. <laughs> He's on a horse. Of course, they give the troll a horse. You know your shit, and you've got good taste. Meat beast. My pride and joy. Fear in the fridge. Excuse me, just sick. What the fuck? Ah! All right. All right. So while we're eating, we're gonna just we're gonna run some ads while we're eating, cause you know, nothing's going on anyways. We're gonna run some ads, and um, let's watch something while we uh, while we eat here. Let's see what we're gonna eat, or what we're gonna watch. Uh, hold on, one second. Let me do this. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, uh, whenever we eat, we like to watch just some like house tour videos, like houses that look cool. Um, what looks pretty dope? Oh, this looks kind of cool. Hold up. I want to say a huge thank you to Audible for sponsoring this video and helping to make what we do possible. New members can get a free trial by clicking the link in the description of this video. Building the perfect home isn't just about creating a physical space for ourselves. Let's see it's this, also about this creating tiny a space house that allows us to interact with the wider world in a way of our choosing. And this next tiny home that we're about to visit here in the UK is a phenomenal example of just that. Just that, mate. Just that. Living big in a tiny Hi, house. Hi, Harry, how Hi. are you? Good to meet you. It's great to meet you. Hey, Joe, how's hey, it going? Good, mate, how are you? Very well, thank you. And what a place you've got here. Thank you. Thank you very much, mate, thank you. This, this is an cool. absolute stunner. Yeah, it's fantastic. We've been in here three years now. Yeah. And it's the best decision we've... These tiny houses, like, always remind me of, like, they always look like stuff that people would build in, like, any kind of survival game, like, Minecraft or Valheim or whatever, just like, just some crazy stuff that you don't normally see in real life. 
ever made. Oh, by far, yeah. And what was it that made you decide to build a tiny house? We were rented in London mm -hmm. and we just couldn't afford to continue living the way we wanted to. We were living in yeah. a sharer house. It was great, it was fantastic, but we were really craving our own space, really. Yeah, so this was sort of the, the conclusion yeah. we came to. Yeah, Ooh, Didn't want to be nice a try, house. nice Couldn't try. To buy anywhere, nice so we try. Went, I know. Let's build oh, one. Yeah. Almost nobody slipped. stopped us. <laughs> Fantastic. And you're both actors as well, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Both yeah. Where's, where's Eating? I tour out where's Eating real a lot quick? with a couple of stage shows. I do a lot of audio work, so I do audio books, and we've built a studio here. So we've created a space that I can also work in, which has been fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Now, impressively, this was a DIY build, wasn't it? Yeah, it was during 2020, and it was the two of us and my dad who just retired from building, and we went, we've mm. got something for you I to think do. it was like the day before <laughs> yeah. he retired, and he was like, I've retired, I've put him down the tools, I'm stepping away. We're now like, we're watching this cool house. Got a project for you. <laughs> no, you're not. Yeah, yeah. not yet. <laughs> and then a tiny house. we'll play some, some more those. Warhammer, of course. <laughs> I love it. And what was the process of building the home like? It was amazing. So we started in September 19, bought the chassis and then sort of had to get it watertight by the November because you were going on tour mm -hmm. and it rained every I'm day gonna skip from forward September a little to bit. November. Every single day. It's so that was a really great period. And then we changed our house a lot and worked out how we wanted to live in the space. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then um, we're going to play yeah, Vegas, uh, uh, more of our Vegas playthrough tomorrow. And time that Vegas playthrough <laughs> so is so that fucking cool. Side to build as slowly or as quickly as we wanted to and to have the flexibility to change design on the fly. Absolutely. Well, from the outside, what you have built just looks incredible. And I am so excited to see what you've done inside. Can we take a look? Yeah, come and have a look. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful home you've created here. Thank you. I love the style of this place. Thanks, yeah, it just got thrown together with what mm. we had available to us. Mm. And most of the stuff we've got in here, we got online uh, that people were getting rid of and throwing away and we could just Looks restore cool. it a bit. Like the floor is a 200 year old oak. Yeah. That was the 10% wastage from someone else's door upper in London. Wow. And it was online. I think they were, they were wanting 800 or a grand for it. And Harry just wrote, will you take 100 quid? And they were like, if you can get here in an hour, you can have it. <laughs> And we were at exactly an hour go, go, away. Go. So it was like, tools down, get in the van, we're getting that floor. Quid. Brilliant. We wanted to have three separate areas downstairs. We mm. wanted the living room, we wanted it. Wake kitchen, up what and now? We wanted a bathroom. Wake the fuck and up. It was dude. just figuring out how to separate. This could those. be your house. Do we, do we close it off with a Actually, wall? I think do this is your house. Open? This is the you in the video. Ourselves was we could play what about the hell? It. Mm. So we could put up a wall and have a look at it and see how we felt. But it felt much better having it wide open. But yeah, most of the design came from what is free. So there were so many things. You go on like Facebook Marketplace or things like that and people were giving away like a TV unit for free or like those chairs. PlayStation. They were part of a fit up for a, uh, was it a yeah. coffee shop or something was having a refit and they were just getting rid of them. So we were like, right, so now we've got orange in the house. How are we going to make that work? <laughs> yeah. And speaking about the lounge, I love the way that you've designed this. It the just sort of pulls house? you into the space and it just has this sort of aura of cosy oh, you mean and fifth? comfort. Yeah, we really wanted a space that was cosy. The fire is um, the only source of heat in the house. We don't have any other way of heating it. So we needed, it was important that we had fire. And so it was then really nice to like be able to sort of focus the lounge around that. And it's so cozy mm. in the winter. It's just Could so be. lovely. And I Could especially be. like the way that you've got the lounge downstairs, but then you've also got the lounge loft above it. Yeah, it was important for us to create these separate spaces within a small environment mm. so that we could have as much mm. as we as we love each other. <laughs> it's sometimes nice to have those those times apart in a tiny house. It's near on impossible. Like we've got one door that we can slam and it's the bathroom door. <laughs> and if someone's gone in there... Can she stand up in there? And you go, oh, excuse me, can I get in there? So there's only... There's only <laughs> arguments are very short-lived. But yeah, it was important huh. for us to have these separate living That's spaces cool. so I can be down here playing computer games. It was important for us to have these separate... Look how cool that looks. That looks fucking cool. That looks pretty cool. Yo, Aaron Grimm, what up, dude? Uh, campaign's going good. We're just... We're eating right now, so we're watching this. And then we're gonna, we're gonna play more Warhammer. You're playing construction simulator? Get getting some ideas from the video. Hey, let's go, Arngrim. Good to hear you're doing well, dude. Welcome in. Yeah, we're just, you know, we're we're human. So we need we do need to eat. Right? 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 So we're just eating real quick. 
and then we'll do more. We'll continue our Warhammer adventure. Um, haven't played it much because it had issues, but seems to run well now. Okay, sick. Ten more days before we get dwarf rework can finally settle some grudges. Oh, so you're you're looking for forward to the dwarves, eh? That's what she said. Woo! Uh, can I zoom in on the TV? I don't think so. I live in spaces, so I can be down here playing computer games, Harry coming up there, having a little read. Yeah, when we first built it, so at the loft up there, the two back doors are, are cupboards, and the one on the right was my recording studio. Initially, it was this tiny little sort of it's space body. that I could just about sit in and record in, and I, I recorded one book in there. But because of the structure, of the are house, you right? I just walked you're across the floor you're tight. And I pick up on the mic, so that didn't last very long. And now it's our cupboard of doom. You know, everyone's got one of those. <laughs> everyone's just, got one. It's just where we chuck all our stuff. Yeah, the, the, that, it's very tiny, it. and that's and also in the what kitchen, she said. Kitchen. This is just such a nice design. I love how you come into the house and you've got all of this space, which just makes the kitchen so roomy. Yeah, we went for this... a higher ceiling. We thought about putting like a little mezzanine level in here, and we thought, no, let's keep mm. the double height. Let's get the windows in. Let's get the light pouring in. It's just made it a really mm. nice open space, which is great to cook in. Yeah. You've got a great amount of prep space here and lots of cupboards for all the storage. Yeah. I think one of my favorite things about the kitchen is the worktop. These are the scaffold boards yeah. that we used to do all of the work inside the house, mm -hmm. which then we repurposed to use as our kitchen tops. And I especially like the butler's sink you've got there. That is such a good find. Yeah, we were really lucky actually. That came about next door had loads of butler sinks that they were using as planters. And when they found out we were building, they were like, well, come and have a look and see if any are Elves? Back. So we were there like digging no through idea. all their planters yeah. until we found this one. So Another you know, freebie that we just, yeah. we just polished up and stuck in. Brilliant. And you've done something a bit special for hiding the drying dishes as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's come about from touring quite a bit and experiencing yeah. different kitchens in different countries. And it's just one that a lot of places have this. It's just, you have all the dishes drying in a cupboard, you catch all the drips underneath, and everything's off the worktops, and you can hide everything away. Very clever. And I like the way mm. that you've got the fridge and the freezer so they both neatly fit under the bench top. Yeah, we had a play about with a, a few different possibilities. We had mm. a stand-up uh, yeah. fridge that went here, but we just felt we needed more surface space, which allowed for the extra surface space by moving them underneath the counter. And because we do quite a lot of cooking, it was quite important to have a full-size like under the counter fridge and a full size freezer yeah. as well. You've got a great size oven there and I like the way you haven't used a built-in cooktop because it just adds a little bit more flexibility, doesn't it? Interestingly, we'd started with a built-in one that was again a freebie from someone and mm. it didn't last very long and then we went right. Okay, so I'm done. So I'm gonna clean up real quick and uh, we'll continue some Warhammer. Uh, I'll be right back in just a few minutes.
Ah! What the fuck? Okay. I'm al I'm alive. Now that I'm here, that it's Ash Ketchum. Okay. I'm gonna catch a catching ball. Yo, what are you doing, Misty? Don't touch me there. Brock, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, we're back. So, I was thinking of changing up the uh, the be right back screen. I don't know, cause like, I get tired of like having the same. Like, I mean, you you basically see the same videos in sequence, you know. And I, I kind of want to like, I want something like that mixes it up, like different different one different videos different sections will play so it's not the same every time i gotta look into that and see uh what would be the best option just so the you know the beer back is fresh fresh all right continue campaign here we go oh yeah namers what did you uh what did you end up deciding to play <clears throat> We're just gonna snack a little bit. We got some uh, hot and spicy Cheez Its. These are good if y'all haven't had them. Hmm. Nothing? Interesting. Don't you have like a bunch of games to play, or are you just not really feeling anything? Mmm. Gotta play some Vermin Tide 2, okay. Didn't we already take this? I guess it didn't save it. Okay. Hmm. So we could instantly get new units, or we could global recruit. It'll take two turns for the halberds, and uh, we just had some spearmen. Ooh. Tomb Guard Horseman. Only two turns. Ooh, we got some good, we got some good options now. We got some good toys to play with. Good toys to play with. We, we're gonna have to be here for two turns anyways to, to heal up, so. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just get some spearmen. Okay. And over here. Nehekara rises from the sands. Tomb King of Nehekara. Hmm. So they have another wog coming down. I ain't doing that. What is his wog target? It's usually something highlighted in green. I guess it's some place we we can't see over here. It's Wog Target. I am my father's son. The day of awakening. Move our heroes up. See what we can see. Hmm. Hmm. Man, these green skins are gonna be a big pain in my ass, dude. Okay. 
Oh damn, we got fourteen thousand gold. We've got a bit of gold here. Shut off. <clears throat> hmm. It returns. Ooh, nice try, Blue. Nice try. Nehekara Horse Archers. So they have a little bit more health, a little bit more armor. Just, okay, so all around stats are just like a tad bit better. Tad bit better. Hmm. Get this guy a screaming catapult. <clears throat> I don't I don't think I'm gonna get any constructs because I wanna save the constructs for our main army because it specializes in constructs. Well actually the hero. Our hero is what makes them specialize in it. Hmm. What heroes do we have? Son of Nehikara, the greatest artist. Okay. Fuck. Let's get a priest. Let's get a priest in here. Ooh. Nice try, Sushi. Jackpot is growing. So we will get Nehekara warriors, because we got a lot of those. Submit to your king. We got a good amount of Nehekara warriors available. Where is this? And we have two global recruitment things available. Huh. <sighs> Let's let's actually get some new shop teeth for this guy. Let's do that. Let's begin. Advance. Let's put the tomb prince in this game right here. Looks around. Oh shit! You got fucked by the roulette, dude. You got fucked up. And there's the make a wish, make a wish coming through. If y'all weren't aware, you're now aware. We are partnering with the Make-A-Wish Foundation for the month of April. And if we hit the $500 uh, goal, donation goal for the uh, Make-A-Wish Foundation, we'll be doing a 24-hour stream. Hey, what are we doing? Let's get him more strength here. Uh, uh, Conqueror. Oh, his melee attack is really low. Really low. You broke it. Can never have anything nice. Listen, maybe if you're if you become a better person, maybe it'll work for you. <laughs> Just unlucky, dude. Unlucky.
Oh yeah, we got an imminent rebellion over here. Let me make sure that we are... Okay, good. So our armies are maxed out, heroes are maxed. Oh, and then we have 14,000 gold to spend. 14,000 gold. We could use, I think this is 8,000 to build this up. We get plus diplomatic relation, plus control, minus corruption. Over here, what do we have left to build? We don't gotta worry about that right now. That place is already built. We, that one, we can't build to level five. Ooh, let's get this up to level four, I think. Hold up. Before I do that. Yeah, okay. Level four up in this bitch. And this will give us more uh, infantry units and such. Skill issue. I'm eating um, hot and spicy Cheez-Its. They, they actually used to be um, this flavor they had. And like back when I was a kid, they used to be partnered with uh, Tabasco. You know, the hot sauce Tabasco. And they had... It was basically like kind of like Tabasco flavor, kind of. Not really. It didn't taste like it. it. It was just like spicy. And now it's no longer Tabasco flavor. It's just like some kind of generic spice on there. Yo, let's go, Norskin. Seven, seven um, watch streak. Let's go, dude. Congratulations. Congrats. You're almost almost to 10. Once you get once you get to ten, that's when the rewards start below in. What you um what you up to, Norskin? What you got going on? Hmm. Alright, so there's nothing else we want to build. Like oh wait, nope, here we go. Carrick eight peaks, break that down. Okay. I don't want to build up any of these yet because yeah. Yeah. Submit to your king. All right, we got 5,000 gold. I guess we could build up this. Hmm. hmm. Yeah, why not? Let's build it up. Okay. Wait, let me make sure. Is that everything? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. 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 Okay. Hey, Junkie. Welcome in. Doing a three-man co-op campaign with 115 mods. You also, do I get paid? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You get, you get some pieces whenever you reach 10. And then every, every so often after that, I think it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then 100, 200. Junkie's also on the seven day watch streak. What are you doing, Junkie? Were you watching uh, that guy that you're not supposed to be watching, huh? Huh? Better not be. Better not have been doing that, dude. Ah, fuck. We gotta fight this. Or maybe not. Maybe maybe Valiant Defeat is okay with us. So the thing is, we don't have any artillery. We might be able to do slightly better than the auto-resolve here, but we still lose, I feel like. So I think I think we're gonna take the auto. Let's see. 
Yeah, we, we could have done a little better. We could have done a little better. But, oh well. Thank you, easy. Free gold. Free gold up in that bitch. And then I think we just want to do some uh, basic spearmen, some archers. Until we get like more units that we can do stuff with. Okay, and then over here we gotta build up some more armies. More armies over here. Where is Where are my slaves? Only death away. Let's get the wizard over here. Wizard of w Waverly Place. Hi, bitches! Tomb Prince of the Hakara. Make way, make way. Mo one of Matanui. Right, let's do, let's get Mr. Eternal here. The Eternal Boner. Uh, same thing, we'll get some Nehakara Warriors. And then we need. I think we're going to build up this Crypt Barracks. Let's get another priest. Tactician, Channeler, Strategist, Wrathful, Scavenger. Let's get Scavenger. Bunch of Nehekara boys. All right, so we got four four new armies forming up here. Uh, I forget where were there Pip Boy games in New Vegas. I don't know actually. I don't I don't think so. I don't remember. I think it was just the Caravan game. But there might be mods that add that stuff in there. <laughs> Sup, slut? Howdy ho. Alright, so next one our lord will be ready to move. What's going on over here? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, his wog's over. Stop Wait, that. no, it's not. Where's his wog? No, you get. Maybe we can't see it. Hmm. Oh, junkie, you missed it. It was last night. Uh, Fifth came in and donated uh, twenty for the Make a Wish Foundation, and then Joker also donated uh, for the Make a Wish Foundation as well. Yeah, when when Fifth and Joker did that, I was telling them that you were like, for the past week, you were like, "Come on, chat, donate, donate. I'll give, I'll give twenty dollars if anyone donates one dollar." And then, when you're gone, is when the donations happen. Yeah, we're not going to build up anything up here, except for uh, Eight Peaks. Eight Peaks will build up income. Okay, let's get rid of this then. Let's build up a garrison here. 
built up a garrison here. <laughs> yeah, that was last night. That was last night. Okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll build this up. Sounds good. And that's all we can, all we can really build right now. All we can build. And, uh, okay. I think that's the end of our turn here. I keep my own counsel. The realm of souls. This is where. You took a massive edible a few hours ago, and, uh, you're just, just a fucked little boy? Eight hours ago? God damn, dude. God damn. All right, home. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go clean off my hands. I shall return. I finished off these, uh, these hot cheeses. A few does not equal eight, FYI. True, true though, true. And we got a fresh out the freezer, ice cold DP. I wanna play a Dr. Pepper song, but I can't. I, alas, I cannot. Junkie, you better not be. You better not be. You're just a young man. You're too young for that. You're too young for that stuff. Leave that stuff for the old men, okay? Not That's not for the young boys, all right? <laughs> Greatness comes. Servants. My dynasty reigns. Hmm. Where should we go? There's so many places we can take. Hmm. I kind of want to go after a black crag, I think. Address me as your highness. There's also Caracazul. So many places. Legions move. Let's go this way. You too, Namors? Namors, you're also not allowed to do that. You're a young man. You're just a young man living in a young man's world. Y'all are both too young and too naive to be messing around with methamphetamines, all right? That's what she said. Woo! <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, if that's what she told you. Um, yeah, you're just too young to be messing around with uh, crystal meth, dude. All right, so put down the syringe and just chill. Surrender the syringe immediately. Surrender the Repose syringe. Surrender the 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 syringe. Okay, a couple more archers. Let's get some. Let's get these Tomb Guard horsemen. They look pretty cool. 
And then we have room for two more units because we're, we also, we're also going to put a hero in here. We're also going to put a hero up in this beach. So we got room for two more units. Mm. Nah, I'll just put in more spearmen. We'll keep it simple. Yes, master. Strengthen our legion. Uh, this guy needs some archers. We have new armies building. And this guy needs to global recruit, otherwise he's gonna be here for far too long. Okay, so he's recruiting. We have our lord moving to take more, more of his stuff over here. <clears throat> How long until... Some of these lords are back. Okay, so they they still have one, a few more turns. A few more turns left. You know, at that height, needles freak me out. And I can tell you from experience, immersion therapy does not help. What is immersion therapy? Is that where you get immersed in the meth? Nothing like an ice cold Dr. Pepper while playing Warhammer, dude. What the fuck? What is better than that? Nothing. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Nothing better than that. Nothing beats that, dude. I can't wait till we crack open a cold DP, put on the new DLC, and start going to town. Going to town on that bad boy. <gasps> what do we. We got 3,000 gold. We have 3,000 gold. We don't have to use it. We can save it, but... There's actually nothing to spend it on right now. We're actually built up. I guess we I guess we got no choice but to save it. We got no choice but to save it here. Oh, I forgot to move the, some of the heroes. Zero, 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 zero. Basically, if you fear something, you surround yourself with... Oh. You surround yourself with it in, in, in an attempt to free yourself from the fear. In the military, they filled me full of shots. You still hate them. Yeah, so if y'all didn't know, Namor's was in the secret soldier program. And they tested, they tested Super Soldier Serum on him. Like, literally, injecting, like, crazy, who knows what, straight into the tip of his penis. And, uh, now he just, instead of giving him superpowers, he just gave him a humongous cork. And that's why, uh, he walks around with, um, with really baggy pants. That's fine, they can take that. Yeah, I think their walk is done. Namors was in the military? I was. Oh, oh my god. Sorry, I didn't mean to spill the beans. Sorry, sorry. I, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to tell them about your past or not, but... Um, there we go. Sorry, dude. It's out there. It's out there now. A bold strategy. Oh no, their wog is still going. It is still going. Okay. He just doesn't have enough armies to stop all of our advances here. We're moving up with our golden sphinx. Our golden sphincter. Our lord is the golden prince, and he has a golden sphincter. All gold, everything. <sighs> mm. 
Yeah, this is good. We're having a great time playing Warhammer. And then I'm excited tomorrow because tomorrow we continue our 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 role-playing adventure in Bannerlord. It was really fun last Saturday. It was really fun last Saturday, so we're I can't I can't wait for it. So we're gonna be playing uh we're gonna be role-playing in Bannerlord tomorrow. And we're gonna be continuing our Vegas playthrough as well. The Vegas playthrough is also really has really been a lot of fun, so I'm looking forward to all that stuff. All that fun stuff. Uh, Junkie, remember that video I sent you? Like, uh, I think yesterday? Or maybe the day before? Of that guy that put an ad out for... Uh, he, he he took a clip from his... Of his stream of him trying to basically reenact, like, Sketch or whoever. You know, by throwing shit in the background. You remember that? Where do we want to go? We're gonna, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna come over here. Uh, never watched it? Why did you lie to me? I asked you if you watched it and you said yes. Why did you lie? Huh? Wait, let's put this out front. actually move them back a little bit. Fire will off until we make sure it's in a good position. Okay. Uh, damn, almost 300. Almost 300, Namors. Almost the big 3-0. Okay, we'll move him up. Once he's up, moved up here a little bit, we'll, we can do fire will. Oh, and also, let's increase his range with our Lord. Our Lord gives a bonus. They never learn. But yeah, Junkie, watch, watch that video. And then look at the comments. Specifically, watch the video. And then look in the comments. I want you to see what what the comments say. I want you, I want you to see that it's it's hilarious. It's hilarious. All right, he's off to the races, firing on them, hitting them on the wall. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So. We're gonna let the catapults uh, do their work for a little bit. We're gonna let them hammer them. Get some damage before we move our units up here. Let's actually move it up a little bit. A little bit. You will later, what are you doing right now, dude? What are you doing? Is it not firing? Fire wheel's on. Hello. Let's also put on guard mode. Fire. Fire, damn you. There you go. I don't know why he wasn't firing a second ago. No, you fuckhead. Here's what we're gonna do. I don't know why he's not firing. Uh, but that's okay, that's okay. Let's, uh, we're just gonna have our lads just start climbing. Here they go. Here they go, here they go.
Look at <laughs> look at him go. Look at him go, he's going. The tomb guard are on the move. That's a cool tail. It's got like an emerald eye in the tail. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna move the chariots over here. They're gonna attack the. Oh, wait, is this just open? Oh no. Wouldn't have our gates attack over there. Uh, let's also move now that we got units to take the attack of the towers. We're gonna move up our catapult. We're gonna move over here into a better position. And these guys are gonna go through the gates over here. The Hikara archers move up. Let's actually move them up here. Tomb guard, move up. Let's go ahead and uh, position the archers here. Our main lord is gonna go attack this gate. Meanwhile, these two shall go for this one. Here they go, here they go. They're starting to climb. Okay, our catapults have good line of sight now. Good line of sight. All right, chariots are attacking the gates over here. How much damage are they? Okay, oh, they're already almost through. Already almost through, dude. Archers move up here. Tomb guard, start. Climbing up here. And then these two come over here. Alright, there we go. We got our Lord attacking the gate here. These two are on this one. And this place is as good as ours. It's as good as ours. Let's actually move them uh move them over here a little bit. Hmm. Let's move the catapult up here. Oh, they're through the gate. Let's go. We're going to have them uh, capture this place. This secondary capture point. Nehekara archers are doing work. They're opening the gates. They're opening the gates. Good job, lads. Good job. Guard mode on, but take care of these uh, arrow boys. All right, they're if <laughs> they're in the gate. Come over here. Help out the scorpion, you fool. You fool. Ooh, we need to get the scorpion some help. Need to get the scorpion some health here. Okay, so our lord's still working on that. Let's see, where's the chariots? Okay. Ooh, they got archers over here. Go around clearing hideouts and building rep. Have like 40 companions. 
like 40 heroes. Okay, let's have y'all get down as well. Get down off the wall. Stay on him, stay on him. Okay, okay, okay. Scorpion, what are you what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, we looks like we have captured this place. Let's move up here. Actually, let's have them. Let's have the chariots move this down here. Down here. Is he through yet? Almost. He's almost through. Good job, lads. Good job. All right, let's move the uh, catapult up here. All right, he's through finally. Experience the Golden Sphinx. Oh no! Our guys! Alright, move out the way. Y'all are just gonna get smacked. Uh, can we can he heal up himself? He can't. Okay, we'll heal up the scorpion then. That's fine. Hmm. Let's have our lord move up. Let's have these guys climb up on the walls over here. There we go, we got him. They have broken. Go on, chariots, get some kills. With the help of mods, of course. You love mods. Oh, you're talking about uh, Fallout. <sighs> Been thinking about getting back into your companions. Only, oh no, you're talking about Bandalore, never mind. Your companions only Bannerlord campaign. So that's, that's what I thought. I thought you had Bannerlord. Decisive victory. Another victory in the books for our Golden Prince. Ah. Yeah, close this door in, in a second. <clears throat> when I was setting up the mods for our Vegas playthrough, I think that's the most, probably the most work I've had to do to get the mods to work. Because, like, we, we ran into, like, a few issues, right? Like, I mean, the mods weren't necessarily not working. It's just, like, the game was, like, kind of funky looking. Like, some of the textures were disappearing and stuff. I had the hardest time trying to, like, figure out, like, what would solve it. I was, like, putting on, taking off mods, changing load order, and doing all kinds of stuff. And it, it took forever. It took, it took days, honestly. It took days to get that shit fixed. That was, that was probably like the hardest time I've ever had with mods. Ooh. Okay. Sock it. Sock it. Eyes of the desert. Fangs of Malarok. Death Watch. Royal Chariot God. And now we'll take it. Thank you, Greenskins. Thank you. Oh, 
Whew, okay, hopefully this garrison gets built up in time. Honestly, mate. Honestly. But now that we got the mods down, we got all the fixes in, this is going to be one of the funnest campaigns, or not campaigns, uh, playthroughs for Fallout New Vegas. Because we got like the whole custom radio shit. I think, I think that's so cool. I think that's going to be so fun. We're going to hear like custom... So I'm, I'm hoping someone does something funny. Okay, so we've given so, a lot of people so many things to do, right? Like we have the art on the wall. People can have us draw anything TOS friendly, put it up on the wall. Same thing with the uh, the shelf on the, the just chatting screen. People can just change whatever items on the shelf to whatever they want, as long as it's TOS friendly. You know, we can't just have like penises and Vaginas on there, you know, it's gotta be TOS friendly, but And then now with the radio we have people we we have given people an option to put in their custom messages as like ads or you know, whatever um, And I'm surprised I haven't seen anyone do like some kind of self promo thing Like I, I was expecting someone to put a, like something up on here that says go follow trim or or it's me or whoever and same with the the shelf on the just chatting screen, I'm surprised we, no one's done anything there, and so far no one's done anything uh, on the radio, but the radio would be like a good place to like, you know, for like a self promo, because that I think that would be funny. Like you're just listening to songs, and all of a sudden on the radio, go follow the Fifth Element, it's something like that. <laughs> Bands, enough of that language, young man. My bad. It's too family. Keep, keep it a family friendly here. Family friendly. Let's get this guy a scorpion and a catapult. And then we have room for four more units. I think we'll just do Nekara Horseman. Actually, let's do Ushabti. And then we'll do maybe chariots or something. My dynasty reigns supreme. Where are my slaves? The ultimate shrine. Doom breeds of the heck strengthen our legions. Reborn. Um Let's see if we have some lords that have returned from the dead. Yeah, so we have one. Uh, let's see who else. I think we're. I think he's the only one back. Everyone else we're still waiting. Yeah, one more turn. One more turn. Two more turns. Okay. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get the level six guy because he's a higher level. My will be done. So we definitely want to use him. I'll set the slaves to work. We'll just put the necrotect in there. Oh, we got another tomb, Prince! Who? Tomb King of Nehekara. At once, eternal majesty. Huh. I guess no one's really missing a tomb, Prince. Arise, my warriors. At once. Bathe in Shaish. Okay. Oh. Submit. Okay, we got trustworthy, strong, cunning. Let's go with strong. My father demands it. Let's make sure we don't have any other heroes that are okay, good. We're maxed out on the others. Damn, we got so much so much stuff to build here. Uh Let's give this guy some chariots. Submit to your king. More archers. Whew. We're gonna be ready for him, dude. We're gonna be ready for him. Hmm. 
Ooh, they have a decent... Oh, yeah, actually, more than decent. Pretty good garrison setup at Iron Rock. Pretty good garrison setup there. It's time! Three rounds in the UFC octagon! Me as your highness. Okay, I'm pretty sure we got everyone moved, everyone's recruiting. We got all of our heroes. We got all the heroes that we can get. Uh, Let's give this guy some more speed. And next is what? Health? Okay, yeah, so more speed so he's a little bit faster. Uh, Vermintide update is 28.4 gigs. That's what you get, dude. That's what you get, dude. King. You just need to play Warhammer. Warhammer is only like three gigs. Alright? It's a, it's a, it's a well-optimized game. Well-oiled machine. Charge bonus. Your physical resistance. Ooh, hit points when defending. Missile resistance. Okay. Get some more missile resistance. Three. Yeah. Do I know Chinese? Yeah. Why? Why do you ask? Why do you ask? Damn, we're only getting 13 jars a turn. Need to get that number up. Sixteen turns, huh? Hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. The three. Oh. Also level three. I don't know if it's worth it if I should build this up. It might cut down the amount of turns we have to wait to get to level five. Nah. We're gonna wait. We're just gonna wait. Only death awaits. Um, okay, okay, okay. Some random bot sent you a message on Twitch? It was in Chinese? Uh, did you translate it? Did they, uh, did they whisper it to you? <clears throat> Why, it's giving us the auto? Okay. We'll take that. Some gold. Thank you. Thank you. That's wild. That's wild, dude. Oh, right. We got some we got some more lords back. This guy's only level 2, so obviously we're going to replace him with the higher level priest. To the temple! To the temple! Now, what do we want to get him? Do we want to get chariots? I think we'll get... Nehekara... Uh, horsemen. To the temple! To the temple! Yes! Is he close enough to... Recruit from here? Nope. 
Okay, we'll just have to we'll have to recruit next next turn next turn. All right, so let's go ahead and move this guy up. Get some more chariots. I guess we'll just get some uh, some spearmen just to fill them out. Keep it simple. Mecha, give the corpse some water. They're still they uh, they're still um, parched. They're still parched. Maybe one day they'll they'll get some water. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Uh, let's get some chariots. Uh... Alright, so we got some decent armies here now. He's gonna be able to attack Carrick Eight Peaks, dude. No. A bold strategy. But nothing we can do. We got. We just gotta wait here. We just gotta wait here to heal up. Mm. Okay. It's let. It's let's check everything. Let's see how we're doing. Make sure everyone's recruiting. Oh. Uh, there. There's our, there's our other hero. There's our other hero. Let's have him move back this way. So they have... Okay, so this army's still here. They're still chilling over there. They're still chilling. Okay, that's fine. He's gonna chill there. Whew, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Anything we can build, or are we are we waiting? Looks like we're waiting. Nothing we wanna build over here. Nothing we wanna build. Agreed. This is my order. Mm, let's go ahead and break this down. We, we're gonna we're gonna want to build something else there. Uh. Okay. Let me see. Let's check the map. Let's see where they're at. Cetra is slowly taking more land. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, let me close this door. It's late. Let's get it, bro. Hey, bro, let's get it. Let's get it, bro. You and me, bro, let's go. What the? We can take him. We can take him. Uh, honestly, though, I think we will fight this just because if we can get the Ushabti... If we can get the Ushabti, spawn it on their rock lobbers, get rid of the rock lobbers, we'll be good. Rock lobbers? Let's see. I don't I don't know if we have enough units to even reach the Ushabti point, but uh, we're, we'll try here. We'll try. Da little wog. 
is a snake and cunning and nasty law practiced by even nastier goblin shamans. The spells of indictive, lacking the punch of the bigger magics used by orcs, but can also be no less effective due to their sustained effects. <clears throat> hey, 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 let's get it, bro. D.O.T. Uh, I wonder if they're going to wait for their reinforcements. So, we're obviously just going to hide in the trees here. Okay, cool. Looks like they're sending out search parties to get us here. Ooh, Vegas radio. And now, a man with a tape recorder up his brother's nose. All right, you got it. You got it. After this battle, I'll put it. Uh, I'll put it down. I'll mark it down. Mark it down in the book. Night goblin squig hoppers. They see us. They have sported us. Oh, now they're retreating, you cowards! You outnumber us. Come face us. Come on, then, you cowards! Come on! Move the archers back a little bit. Let's go. Fire on them. Fire on them. Let's see if we can't uh, hold off. Get the uh, fucking Ushabti going. Oh, God. Oh, God. The squigs are in. Oh, God. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have enough. Where even is their rock lovers? Wait, where's their where is their rock lovers? It's over here somewhere I can't see, I think. Let me see. Their rock lobbers are like hidden somewhere. Where the fuck are they? What? They're not up here. Oh, they are up here. What the fuck? Fuck, ah, uh, damn it, dude. Ah, uh, I thought their, their rock lobbers were hidden back here. For some reason, their rock lobbers are over here. What the fuck? All right, oh well. <laughs> damn, why the fuck did they bring them to the front line? That's wild. Okay. Well, we got tricked. You want it done in a British accent? Okay, okay, okay. Let me, uh, hold on. Once this, once this loads up, I'll, I'll put it into the... So now that's, that's the third message now that we gotta do. That we gotta put into the, uh, into New Vegas Radio. So we have two songs and three new messages. Cool. This will be dope. And actually, one of the songs that Tazzy suggested is actually pretty cool. It's actually a good idea. It's, it's basically an old... Like, I don't know, like from the 60s or 70s, an old Dr. Pepper commercial song. So I think that'll be funny. I think that will be pretty funny there. Pretty funny. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, too. Uh, so, um... 
I guess I should put it in the uh, description too. Is the uh, with the thing we can we can also use a voice changer too. So that's also something I should uh, probably mention is we can use the voice changer, you know, when we're recording so we can do different voices and stuff like that. Uh, you have four parts. Turns out his pockets. Put your pockets away. Put your pockets away, dude. Well, let me put your request in here. New Vegas Radio Redeems. In British accent. Okay. Uh. Oh, you mean like oh, like parts like oh, okay, like like the the uh, the channel points. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So that's actually a, a, something that I was gonna do for the um for these the New Vegas redeems. Would it be so? I asked this yesterday, and and everyone said they wanted it as a channel point, but I was asking, you know. Would it be better if we have the New Vegas Radio Redeems as a channel point or as a pieces redeem, you know? And everyone said channel points, so it's under, under channel points. But we can always change it. If we feel like it's going to be a better fit under the, uh, the pieces redeem, we can, always, we can always put it under there. Change it over. We retreat! <laughs> I wish. I, I have no control over the, the parts. Like, I can't give anyone more parts. Like, you know how we do with pieces? I can, like... I can change exactly how much people get for certain things, and I can give them away, stuff like that. Uh... The channel points, you you can't change whatsoever. It's just entirely handled by Twitch. My will be done. Stride to greatness. We're going to try an ambush over Stride here. On my command. So we want to defend Carrick 8 peaks. You want to try and keep it. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's something I didn't even know until I hit affiliate. Like, what was it, two years ago when I hit it? Like, before I hit affiliate, you know, because before, you, before you're affiliate, you don't have access to the channel points or anything, so I didn't know how it worked. I was like, I was thinking in my head that I could give away, give them away and, you know, Make adjustments to them, but yeah, you you can't do anything, which is fine, you know. That's fine. Submit to your king. Oh, we're just gonna get some spearmen here. Gonna keep it simple. Keep it simple, keep it classy. This way, sire. Make way. Make way, make way. We're gonna give this guy some Nehekara horsemen. To round him out. Okay, coo, 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 coo. All right, we got new armies coming in. Coming in to repel the green skin menace. Uh, when are you streaming American Truck Simulator? Honestly, I was thinking about doing that whenever whenever Starfield finally releases the big update that gives the, the, the mod workshop, whatever it's called, and or, and or, when their DLC drops, that's when we're gonna go back into Starfield. And I was honestly thinking about doing a playthrough where, cause you can do this. 
Like, it's it's already in the game. And then there's probably mods that we'll be able to add on top of it, too. But I want to do a playthrough where we, we're basically like a, a transporter. And, like, we, we kind of, like, RP. And we just... We just RP as, like, a, a space truck driver. We just go around the galaxy cruising, uh, transporting stuff, you know? Um... I want I want to do some kind of playthrough like that. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, space trucking. Yeah, it'll be cool because we'll have like just chill music going on. We'll we'll probably we'll, so okay. So there's gonna be obviously Starfield Radio. Uh, and then also we'll we'll probably have like requests on too. We'll probably do something like where people can choose what's what's on the playlist. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta think about it some more, but but I haven't really thought about it too much because we don't know when the when the update's supposed to drop. They did they did say that either I think it was either the DLC or the workshop the mod workshop update was gonna drop at the beginning of this year, 2024, and we're already in April and there's still nothing released. So who kn we who knows when you know it's gonna come out nods reassuringly there is a space trucking game that is coming out uh it was mid is uh is starfield better like compared to that that game in terms of uh space trucking space trucking motherfucker i'm a space trucker motherfucker Move him up. Move him up here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got over here. Find my harm. I keep checking the heroes because it's just in case. Alright, so we moved everyone. We recruited. Now let's see what we want to build. We got something here, but hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Man, but the people that be thinking we soft. Uh, Carrick Eight Peaks is almost built up. Let's go up to level three. Actually, before I do that, hold on. Let's see. What options do we have here? I guess we'll build up some more horses. We don't have that many cavalry, so we'll build up some more there. And let's try and build up um, over here at Carrick Eight Peaks. Black Crag, I guess. I guess we'll build up a growth building here. Why not? Why not? Oh, does this guy finally have a third army? Oh, he's got some cool units. Oh no, he's got four armies now. Finally. What the fuck? I forbid you to look upon my. Terrible beauty. How do they have this? This was Zinch under Zinch's control. Oh, were they? Did they take over here and Zinch traded this to them? It's weird. Uh, Starfield is easier to drive, and the controls for a space trucking game were too annoying. Gotcha. Did they try to make it like, I don't know, like complex, but it didn't work out? Ooh, or do they not like the Rakoff dynasty anymore? Gave me his sword. What will you offer, Thrall? Hmm. Tomb King of Nehekara. Ooh. These two. Tomb Lords, all of a sudden, they were good friends, and now 
they don't like each other. Wonder what happened. Did you and Starfield break up? For the time being, we're separated right now. Just waiting for, uh, waiting for Starfield to get its shit together, you know? Oh. Okay, yeah, never mind. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I thought you guys would stay together forever. Damn, that sucks. Shit happens, you know? Shit happens. <sighs> I contacted uh, Trim, the divorce attorney. And uh, we're currently in the, uh, the, the workings. We're working through that right now, you know? We're working through that. We have so many games. Man, I don't know. We honestly have so many games. Like, so Starfield's coming back. Man of Lord is coming out soon. The Warhammer DLC is dropping soon. Um, we have a bunch of old school games we still need to get through. We have a bunch of VR games we still need to play. We have so many games. So many games and so... Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna take that auto. We're Rise gonna take that auto. Rise. Thank you. Thank you for the gold. Trim creeps you out. Kind of like a huge, hairy spider. It's true. It's true, dude. Spider-Man. Address me as your highness. You dare. We're gonna... Destroy them. Let's see if the auto is fair. If, it, if, we, if we don't lose anything, we'll take it, but... Okay, yeah, we'll fight it. We'll fight it. We're not going to lose a single soul here. Not a single soul. A single, single soul shall not be lost. A single soul shall not be slain. Single soul. Single, 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 single soul. Um, but yeah, with the Starfield Radio, there's honestly so many things that people can have us do. They can have me do accents like you did, Namers. Uh, we could do, they could request that we do a, um, a voice changer, and we, we, hell, we can also sing on it, too, if they want us to sing a jingle using a voice changer. There's all, it's, it's only limited by people's imagination, you know? Only limited by people's imagination. Okay. Uh, we'll have chariots up here. I shall feel Metropent. So these guys are going to stay hidden in the forest. We don't want them to be killed. Look at the glory. Glorious golden sphinx. Giant jaguar. Okay, getting they're getting into a position here. Let's get our Lord close so they get the uh, range bonus. What's this range? 115? Ah, fuck. My eye. My eye! My leg! Whoops. Uh, fire. Fire upon them. Okay, so they're a little, a little bit out of range. Let's move up here. Go. Uh, 
All right, chariots, fire! Fire! Ooh, get out of range. Get out of range of their range units. That you have them split up a little bit. Ooh, here they go. Here they go. They're coming. They're coming! Actually, get our lord out front here. Unleash! Unleash upon the gobos! Let's actually have the chariots move through here. Scooch in, scooch in. Okay, come back, come back, don't chase him. Switch targets. Here we go. Bam! Turning them into squash. Oh, the goblins almost made it. They almost made it. But not quite. Stay on them. Stay on them. Stay on them. All right, come back. Uh, we want you to heal up the scorpion. He's gonna heal him up with his magic healing powers. Once he once he catches up here, once he gets close enough, his weapon keeps dropping behind him. Did, did you do it? Okay, cool. Let's fast forward. Let him heal up. So our this hero can uh, heal up constructs. Constructs are basically living statues. See, zero losses. Just like I said. I promised you a great victory, and we delivered. <sighs> mm mm mm. Nothing like a cold DP. All right. So, uh, what was this? We were taking the minor settlement, I think. Okay, Q, Q, Q. Occupy. Province is secured once again. Address me as your highness. I think it's safe to march over here. I'm not sure if they have another group, another, another stack over here. Okay. I think it's safe to move. And, uh, have this guy move up, make his way up there as well. Alright, these two are ready to move. Gonna have them cross through the Badlands up here. Attend your king, slaves. Hey, cool, cool. We got stronger armies coming up. Coming up.
Our Skaven allies are making moves. There's Doomclaw, that's cool. Okay, okay, okay. Kinda wanna see... I wonder if the rats are gonna be friendly for us after the, after this war. I wonder. I wonder. So I guess at this point, I wonder if we should save up for another uh, dynasty through here before we, uh, you know, start unlocking items and stuff. Uh, our canopic jar growth is still a little slow. Still a little slow. Find my harem. Mm -hmm. Let's give him some armor. So he's a little tanky snake boy. Be done. Little tanky snake boy. Uh, ooh, yeah, let's get his melee attack up. Right now his melee is really low on that mount, so we'll get that up. Do we have any new items? We got Talisman of Protection, but we'll fuse these together. Brass Cleaver. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We'll give it to our Lord. Give it to our Lord and Savior. Mm hmm. Movement range, eh? Okay. Let's see what we want to build here. 650. Mm -hmm. 13 more turns until this is ready. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay, so I guess we'll build up over here. We'll get uh, Valea's Sorrow built up. Uh, Black Crag will be ready to build, be built next turn. Man, we need to hurry up. These fucking green skins are taking forever to to die. Oh yeah, let's check diplomacy. Who likes us the most? Attend your king, slaves. These guys, of course. The seas are my domain. Damn. Everyone hates us, dude. Harmony of Bow before your uh Hi Grumby Where is oh here they are. Call me Lord Craven Tail. We're at war we're helping them fight this war and they still don't like us? What the fuck? Okay, that's okay, so what we'll do If if we had a positive relation with them, I was going to just keep fighting these green skins until they are completely done so but since he still is gonna hate us anyways what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take most of this we're gonna leave them with some some settlements and then we're gonna make peace with them so that way the rats and these green skins keep busy they keep each other busy while we come over here and take Lamia that's the plan. That's the plan. Don't mess with me. Watch it. So right now he doesn't want to make peace, but in in a short bit, once we take some more stuff from him, he's he's gonna want to make peace. He's gonna want to make peace in the Middle East. East. I need to move. I need to move that hero back. Need to get. I need to move him back. Actually, I need to move him towards the lizards so we we have uh surveillance over there
Sure. They spent like 10 turns trying to take that. And we're, we're going to just take it right back. Ooh. We'll take we'll take the gold. Take the gold here. I mean, we do need more jars, but that 40 jars isn't going to get us anywhere close to where we need to be. Ooh. There he is. There he what? is. Strike on my command. Let's ambush up Very here. Well. Let's see. Get at me, Ed. We should be able to take him. I reign. Hopefully. What bastard? All right, so he's still healing up. Hmm. Not white. Yeah. Address me as your highness. Onward, soldiers. What if we move here and go into scorpion <laughs> mode? Okay, that works. That works. We'll come over here. Ooh, here we go. Black crag, ready for a level up and. We got the garrison built up over here, and it's on its way to level three, so that that'll be even more, more of a, more of a, more strength added. Bleh. Bleh. My dynasty reigns supreme. Don't know what's over here, so we gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, though. Submit to your king. Legions, march. Gotta keep them together, because I think they still have that wog stack over here. Maybe. Maybe. I think we're gonna take Barak Var. And then we'll think about making peace with them. After after we take that. Ooh. Alright, so this is at level four now. It's ready to go. Ready to be sculpted, ready to be built. Man, these guys really don't like us. What the fuck? Hmm. It's not good. It's not looking good over there. Hmm. Prince Sinutep. Jar. Start making some jars. Let's see. I think the only place we really need to build is here. I think everything else is, yeah, everything else is good. All right, so now, so now this place is level four. Level four over here. Do I want to get another bone giant's place? Hmm. I think so. I believe. That's what we want to do. We could also get this built up. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for the Bone Giant. Bone Giant Mausoleum. And... I think that'll about do it for this turn. Next turn, we'll take Crooked Fang Fort from Snorko. Let's see what Nobber does here. Is, is he going to stay here or is he going to move up? Oh, dude, we got him in an underway interception. For the creator God. Easy, that takes care of that. 
that takes care of that. Right, that sounds good. Go, go this way. Oh, okay. Nobber moved over there. Okay, okay. We're gonna take back Crooked Fang Fort. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, Blue. Get to trucking, you mother. We'll just auto that and occupy. Not much. Not much else to do there. Ooh. Emerald Sentinels, chosen of the gods. Noise. My dynasty. We'll break that down for now. Break it down. Servants. Back it up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Yes. Back it up. Back it up. See it is done. Uh, what do they have it here? Nothing. Easy. Comes. Easy. Another, uh, yeah, another auto. Just occupy, not worth sacking that. No gold to be had there. Ooh-wee. We are doing pretty well. We are doing pretty well, pretty swell. Pretty well, pretty swell. Man, we're just like a fucking machine over here. Yeah, we'll move him this way. We'll move him over here. Okay, he's fine. He's gonna stay there. Oh yeah, whoops. I think I was supposed to uh, replace some lords here. Oh well. I don't think I could do it. Oh, I can do it here. Uh, hold on, let me see who's who's available. Let's see. We have this level seven Tomb King, level six Tomb King. Okay, so we got two Tomb Kings who... This guy. Uh... <sighs> yeah, let's let's replace him. Gold hoarder, eh? My dynasty reigns supreme. That guy is fine. We don't have any high-level priests to replace him with. That guy is good. Level 9. Level 7. Okay. Alright, we're looking good here. We're looking good. My glory. Get this guy some... Oh, let's give him Desert Strike. Desert Strike. On your knees. Oh, that's all armies faction wide. Oh, hell yeah. We'll take that. Prince among men. When Tutankhamun arises from his tomb, resplendent in his golden body and death mask, the still living people of Numis hearken to his call, perceiving him as blessed by the gods. Land of the dead. We'll just give him Blade Master. Greatest dynasty. Oh, wee, jars. I have risen. We want everyone to be making at least one jar. Rise. Wound maker for him. Okay, okay, okay. Now, last thing we do is check our buildings. Okay, the, both these are going to be level 3 next turn. Ooh. 
1300? Well, hold on, before I do that, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, let's do it. I think, yeah, I think these last three sections here, we're gonna build up these, these buildings. These buildings here. I mean, we have to wait till level five, but. Let's get this upgraded. And we're good. What's our strength rank? 15? Not too bad. Damn! Kemri is at one right now. Admiral of the fleet. This guy is weird. He's just sitting here. Hmm. Eternal. Akumoto clan. This guy's over in Japan. Blood kiss of this. Alright. That's all we can do. No no negotiations to be made. Damn, we're getting we're getting close. We're getting to that, that tipping point with the Tomb Kings where we're going to start getting some, like, really badass units. Finally. Finally. Once again, the trolls are going to be a problem. We'll try it. We'll try it here. I don't know if we've uh, fought on this map before. Oh yeah, I don't think we've played on this map before. This is cool. This is Q. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So they can, there's several ways that they can come from. They can come from the, uh, the forest over here. Any of these three ways. So, let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, that's fine. And let's move these basic swordsmen in here. Archers together. Get the horsemen together. Okay. So yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see where they uh, where they come in. Let's have the Ushabti on the left flank. These Tomb Guard horsemen. They're pretty cool. These are the great swords. They're so they're short. Those are short swords. Okay, so the great swords look a little silly. Their sh their swords are like not as long as they should be on horseback. And we'll put the uh, artillery up here. Okay. Are they gonna move forward? A 
Oh, they are. Okay, sick. Alright, cool. They're moving up. Move they're moving up. So. So 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 so. So 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 so. What should we do here? What should we what should we do? Let's move up a little bit. And we're gonna we're gonna fast forward. It's gonna It's gonna take them a minute to get to us. Spread these horsemen out a little bit. Let's also have our lord. Hmm. Let's have these archers spread out a bit. Okay, who are you firing at? Okay, let's actually move these shops here up here. We need them to fortify this center position here. So these these guys are anti large so we're gonna fuck up these trolls a bit. have the catapults move back a bit. They're getting fucking obliterated already. Anti-large boys are getting shredded. Shit, the squigs are making it through. Ah, oh, we didn't see their uh, secret archers back here. Oh, get the uh, fucking squigs. Have some of y'all move that way. Move in over here, please. Oh, shit. Okay, this, this hero of theirs is gonna go down. Come over here, get these trolls. He's down, he's down. All right, now we want y'all to fire on their Lord. Ooh, we got Ushabti ready. Let's put him back here on their archers. Okay, move back archers over here. Good job, Ushabti. Get those fucking archers out of here. Damn it, the squig have returned. Break them. 
Oh. Ugh, my bad. A few of y'all, a few of y'all get on the stone trolls. Just those squigs still, please. Ooh. All right, there's a shop tier about to be done, so that's okay. Get those. Actually, focus on these ones. Focus, focus on the trolls coming back. All right, a few of our archers are out of ammo. This is actually pretty close. Pretty close over here. Okay, let's have y'all reinforce over here. Okay, so those guys are out of ammo. Oh, focus these trolls here. Those, those ones are done, though. They're not coming back. Uh, I don't know. Hard to tell. This one's close. This one's close. Come get these trolls. Oh, no. They're going to make it. Oh, shit. I think we're just barely going to lose. Just barely. Let's get there. Let's go after their main lord. Let's go. Okay, if we can get these trolls to start running, that'll be great. There they go. Okay. Line up over here. Prepare to shoot them. Ah, shit. Here come these other assholes. Yeah, I think we're just just barely gonna lose this one. Just barely. It's the the trolls do it for us every time. The trolls just tear through our infantry. We don't got a chance without our uh, anti-large constructs and stuff. Yeah, look, their trolls are just fucking nasty. Yeah, the Tomb Kings have a hard time with large units. Like, we have our range units uh, concentrate fire on them, but it's not enough. They do not do enough. We need, like, our anti-large boys in here to handle these large units. It's tough. Tomb Kings have it tough. Yeah, it's literally just the trolls doing all the work. Yeah, they're they are annoying. With their healing and shit and their massive armor piercing. That's fine though. We're not uh we're not too mad at that. That's fine. They don't have much left to fight us with. They're almost donezo. My dynasty reigns supreme. Unliving. Damn, he was able to march way ahead of him. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Where are these guys going? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you trespassing over here? Oh, he's trying to... Wait, what the fuck? When did you get this? What the fuck? How did he get all the way over here? What? This is so weird. How did he get this? What the fuck? Okay. Weird. 
Know from experience, been fighting armies with Chaos Troll stacks. You bastard. You bastard. Call off the trolls. Call off the trolls. To the temple. To the temple. Alright, so now we gotta make a another new army here. Another new army here. But that's okay. We're cool with that. We got new new units that we can uh, put in here, so we are a okay. Let's go for some uh, tomb guards here. Mm. Let's get a bone giant. We're gonna get some basic spearmen. We also need another hero. I need a hero. Okay, so just, just a necrotect. Wise, perfect. He'll give us some extra canopic jars. Do not challenge me. I'll set the slaves to work. Okay, so we get. Oh, we've got a hero in there. This guy's still moving. Kairos probably gave it to him. Probably. That changing bastard. That changing bastard. That bird bastard. So we only have... We don't have that much gold this turn. Hmm. Yeah, we're n we don't want to build anything there. I th I think we're good. There's nothing. Oh wait, nope. Here we go. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, that'll give us access to even more units. So we'll go ahead and build that up. I think we'll build a scorpion building over here whenever we can. Man. Yeah, the Tomb Kings have got to be like the slowest faction in the game. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. I'd be surprised if there's if there's a faction that's slower than the Tomb Kings. I'm pretty sure they're like the slowest. Wait, how? Okay, only 12. He's only got 12 units. We're about to mop the floor with him with our one of our best armies over here. Let's see what's going on over here in Lizard Town. Lizardville. Yeah, we're going to take Lamia. We need to take Lamia. Priest King of Greatest Dynasty. Hmm. Hmm. Dwarves are slower. I mean, like, slow in terms of, like, building up. You know what I mean? Like, getting to, like, their good units and getting to where they need to be. Not, like, literal speed. Like, not like, uh, what's it called? Unit speed. But, like, overall, like, how long it takes their faction to, like, really hit their, like, their peak. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so we made some good progress here. Made some good progress here. 
Like, we're on turn uh, 107, and we still don't even have a level 5 My place yet. Tasty. Eight more turns, we can build it up, but it's slow. It is slow as hell. All right. All right. All right, y'all. I think that is gonna be it for the night. Um, it is gonna be, it's, it's getting to about that time. And I still have um, some work that I need to do before Betty by time, so we're gonna end it here. But we're gonna be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. We shall be back here. Let's see who we want to send you to. We're gonna... We're gonna send y'all over to someone who's on. Who is on? Uh, hmm... Not a whole, not a whole lot of people are on. Hmm. Uh, let's see about, let's see about uh, this guy here. All right, this guy looks chill. We're gonna send, send y'all over to Free, Freeing the Goat, Freeing the Goat, I think what his name is. All right, here we go. All right, y'all. Use whatever emotes you would like to in the raid. Take it easy. Have a good night. We'll uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll be back here tomorrow. We're going to send y'all over to Freeing the Goat. He's playing Warhammer 3. Uh, he's playing Zeech. He's playing Zeech. Chaos Dwarves are probably slower. It takes forever to build them up. I would say they're close. They're close. It's tough to tell. I want to say, well, I haven't played the Chaos Dwarves since they since they were released, so I can't really really remember. But I want to say that I was able to reach their high tier units before turn 100, if I remember. But yeah, they are also slow. They are also slow. All right, y'all. Uh, let's go say hey to Mr. Goat. Um. And uh, yeah, take it easy, have a good night, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Let's go.